Have you ever looked at the back of a sewing pattern and not know what the heck you're reading? Well, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to read sewing patterns. But hey, if we are meeting for the first time, my name's Javier. And inside this channel, we create sewing projects. But if that does interest you, consider subscribing and let's just jump into the video. This video is actually a part two to how to buy sewing patterns. So if you have not checked out that video, go check it out and then come back. Right now, we are going to be talking about the front side of the sewing pattern. So the number on the top left hand corner indicates the number of the pattern that you have chosen. Once you have picked your pattern, it tells you on the catalog what number it is. So that's how you go through them. They are all organized by numerical order. The next thing that you will notice is the name of the sewing pattern company. This one is Simplicity. What the pattern also includes is different variations of sleeves, necklines, and whatever the pattern is or the pattern may be. This one has shorts a tank top this one here comes with a dress some pants and a jacket two different ones so this one doesn't really have that many two different types of shorts they both have different type of contrasting fabrics the styles are also labeled with letters as you can see you may be able to see a b here b there is an e c a and d the sizing is also indicated at the top this one is from extra small through extra large different patterns will have different sizing small to large from 16 through 30 to 36 size 4 to size 16 sometimes the pattern themselves will tell you what type of level it is some will say advanced this one says easy some of them will say one hour sewing projects now we're going to move on to talking about the flap of each envelope the flaps are also going to be set up differently so let's go through them and see how they are this one up here is butterick new look mccall's vogue simplicity these two are just formatted kind of the same, except for one's upside down. It just has a pattern number, all the disclaimer information about the company and all the rights that they own. And also the name of the brand and the price as well. For these guys, this is the part where it may seem a little bit tricky. They do have the different type of sizes on the flap, sizes from 8 through 22. But the pattern itself, it says it's sizes from 16 to 22. So that's the pattern size that you're going to be purchasing. But the back says, all the sizes that you can buy for this pattern itself, it's going to be from sizes 8 through 22. Sizes small to XXL, but when you buy it, it says it's sizes from small through large. Size 30 through 44. The actual pattern size is size 30 through 36. This does throw people off just because when you're buying a pattern, you look at it and you see the correct numbers and you see your sizes indicated there and you're like, okay, cool, I can just buy it. but. No, always double check the front and the back of the flap too because it does throw you off a little bit. It has happened to me and it also has happened to many people as well. And the last thing that all these patterns have in common is the name of the pattern brand and then the pattern number itself. Now let's talk about the back side of a sewing pattern. Patterns will be set up in a horizontal direction or vertical. Reading the back side of a sewing pattern is like reading a multiplication table. You want to look for the left hand side and then you want to look for the top hand side and then you're gonna find the answer in the middle. All sizings on the patterns will be indicated vertically from extra small through extra large or anything from a size eight through a size 22. And everything in a horizontal direction will tell you for the bust measurement, the waist measurement, and the hip measurement, the amount of interfacing, contrasting fabric, your finished measurement style letter as well. It will also tell you the amount of fabric that you need for your project itself and it will be indicated in yards. So it might tell you you need a yard and a half, or three yards and five eighths. So how do you find the correct pattern size for you? You want to know your bust measurement, your hip measurement, and your waist measurement. That will be located on the left hand side of the pattern. It will tell you bust, waist, and hip. And then vertically it will tell you sizes 8 through 22 or sizes from extra small through extra large and column separated. So you you gotta find the measurements and then match it up. The sewing pattern layout in the back is gonna be different for each sewing pattern company as well. Once again, you will see the pattern number on each pattern. Some patterns will also tell you the price of the pattern, $35 and this one costs 16 in the US. Simplicity, New Look, and Macaws don't have the price tag on the back. They have them on the front side or on the flap. Some of the envelopes also say the amount of pattern pieces that are included inside the pattern. Vogue, Macaws, and Butterick don't really tell you. Simplicity tells you this one has 22 and then New Look tells you this one has 18. 
the two companies that do tell you what type of level you are working on is Vogue tells you this one's easy and then Butterick tells you as well. On the back side of these sewing patterns, it also shows you once more again the different type of styles that are included inside the pattern itself. Simplicity shows their styles on the left hand side. New Look does the same type of format as well for Butterick in the bottom hand side. Vogue, it also shows you at the bottom with letters next to them. Calls also shows you at the bottom. As you can see on the patterns too, there are going to be sections that have letters on them. Those are for the matching styles that you want to create. So different type of styles do require more fabric. Always make sure you match the image with the letters and the letters with the category. Sewing pattern companies will also give you a description of what it is that you are sewing. Vogue does the same thing as well for you guys and Butterick does as well. Simplicity doesn't and neither does New Look. They just tell you what type of fabric you need. The next category that you will see on the back side of the sewing patterns is the type of fabric that you need to buy when using the sewing pattern itself. Some sewing patterns will require you to use knits, some will require you to use wovens. If you are buying a sewing pattern with a knit fabric, it will show you a ruler at the top with the amount of stretch that is required for that sewing pattern itself. So always make sure that you buy the correct type of fabric because they do have different type of stretch properties, meaning they stretch differently. The next category is notions. So notions are basically the supplies that you need in order to put the piece of clothing together. You may need some ribbon, some elastic, some interfacing, some buttons, you any buckles as well, so trim or bias binding. Some of these sewing patterns are made with nap or without nap, but what is nap? Nap is basically the directional design of a fabric or the directional surface of a fabric. Sewing patterns will tell you this at the bottom or at the top. Most of the patterns will also tell you the finished garment measurements, so the total measurement around the piece of clothing once you are done sewing it, it will tell you for the bust, the waist, the hip, the inseam of the pant and also the outside length of the pant or skirt. Sometimes it will also tell you the length from the front side to the waist or from the neck to the waist on the back side. Some patterns do require you to buy some lining and interfacing and that will tell you as well. It will have a category for itself. There will also be a category for contrasting fabric. So if you ever buy a sewing pattern that has two different type of fabrics, on one piece of clothing. We'll tell you the specific amount of fabric that you need for that little piece. You can see there's some orange here and then there's some blue at the bottom. The common numbers that you will see on the back side are 45 and 60. Those are basically the width of the fabric. So how wide it is. Fabrics do come in different types of width. They do come anything less than 45 and they can go up to 60 of course and anything in between. So 45 and 60 are basically the recommended width amount of fabric that you need for your project and it's gonna be separated by yards. Another common measurement you will see on the backside team through 25 and this is just the width of interfacing. When you are out buying sewing patterns make sure you remember to read it like a multiplication table. If you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments below or if I got anything incorrect please correct me and leave that in the comments as well. But that wraps it up for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about sewing. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.